This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Request a code review to get feedback from your peers. All right, to do, finish the program. Uh, let's see for that. What we're doing. Is this the one? Yeah. So we're painting behind the taxis. I want to see what the current code does. Oh, and it stops there. Okay. So to do, call the move and paint dashes, ooh, methods to move forward and paint dashed lines behind the taxis. The taxis? Um, okay, little typo there, I guess. The paint plus object can move forward. While the painter plus object, which we named Colin apparently. All right, let me go to painter plus. Oh, that's super nice. They apparently gave us this paint dash lines, uh, and we can just call the method to make this happen. So let me go down here, and I'm going to do uh, Colin dot paint da long dashes apparently. And then I think I needed a color, and it looks like they did white, so I'll stick with that. Let me see if this works at all. Well, apparently I need to move first. Okay, that's looking good. Let me hammer more of this out, and then I'll talk about it. Okay, so that looks to be working. I want to point something out real quick. This is fine, and I could do a code review here. If you ever, if you notice when I did this, I highlighted and I right clicked and copied and then pasted. If you're doing that in code students, there's likely a better way to do it. Because that means, hey, maybe I could use a loop here. And this situation is exactly that. So this is fine, this functions correctly, but I honestly would love to throw in a while or as long as I can loop, right? A while loop with the condition being, um, let's see, call in and let's see, I, I think we have the can move method and we could go check the documentation for the painter class, but pretty sure that's what it's called. And now I'm gonna do a curly brace and I'm just gonna grab this code, loop, blue, and let's see if that works. Not at all. So I'll just do a cut real quick and paste, or I could have copied and deleted it. And now I'm going to get rid of all of this. So again, before my other functionality would work, but this looks a lot like a lot less, looks like a lot less code to me. And I like it. Okay. So I'm going to leave it at this and keep in mind what a loop does. As long as I can move, I'm asking the computer a question. It checks the painter object and says, yep, you can move. And then I move forward one. I then run paint long dashes, which is way over here. I pass it a color. So I paint white, which is the color I passed. I move forward one. I paint white, which is way over here. What I gave it white. And I move forward one and then it hits the bottom of this method and returns drop to here, hit the bottom of my wall loop. I have to go up again and I'd be standing here and a computer says, okay, I have to check. Can I move? The computer says, yeah, you have moved. True. We do the whole thing again and it keeps repeating until I hit this wall and I can't move. That's what's happening. Let's get to the review. I'm headed over to code review. Now, my students who have pointed out more than once, if you cannot do this, it probably says something like your teacher needs to enable this. Be nice to your teacher. It's kind of confusing as a teacher to enable this. I'm being honest. So if it tells you that, just keep that in mind that maybe your teacher needs to go and enable it. And there's two different places you have to click. I'm just saying. So right now, no one else in my per group has shared for a review. However, I'm going to go ahead and hit start review. And my review is now open to my peers. And that's actually what I need to do. So, oh, should I have tested? Yeah, I probably should have done that before uh, reviewing, but cool. Onward.